Hey Paranormies, it's Jenna and you're on the light side of the paranormal. So tonight I'm going to be doing another Nukes Top 5 reaction for you guys. Quickly before we get started, if spooky and paranormal stuff is your jam, become a part of our Paranormy fam and click subscribe. We'd love to have you. Alright guys, without any further delay, let's get right into it. This is Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos That Are Not For The Screamish. Let's do this! Top 5 Ghosts Fall On Camera When The Walls Come Tumbling Down Paranormal investigators Jordan and Johnny from the YouTube channel Paranormies are back on a new investigation that brings them to an old abandoned train station Paranormies. in Piney, Manitoba, Canada. The Piney train station was closed in the 1960s. In the 1980s, a tormented local man named Dennis drank himself to death in the abandoned Piney train station. Locals believe that his spirit haunts the station to this day. People have seen unexplained shadows in the windows of the train station and curious explorers who dared to go inside would feel a presence watching them. The Paranormies Jordan and Johnny set out to investigate whether the stories are true. Once inside the Piney train station, the two friends realize just how badly decayed the building is. The roof actually seems like it's about to collapse. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! god. Is, that, is that upstairs? No, that's outside. Holy f man, it sounded like a piece of the house just busted off. What? That might have been it, because look at the roof. Was that a piece of the house or was that you? Jordan and Johnny aren't sure whether they just captured something paranormal or something might have fallen from the ceiling. But the longer they're inside, the stranger the unexplained sounds become. Holy It's not like glass shattering. This time the Paranormies team hears the sound of glass shattering somewhere inside the old train station. But again, they can't quite place where the crash came from. But the next sound they hear is even creepier. She was saying he's so emotional. That's footsteps. Matter. That's f***ing footsteps. Cool. I'm gonna pause this for a second. Um, if you follow our channel, you'll know that Alice and myself are sensitive to the paranormal and the dead. And um, when I decided to pause, it was because I had an immense pressure between my two shoulder blades, like someone was pushing really, really hard. It feels like that, but also feels like static electricity at the same time. Um, and as soon as I paused it and started explaining it, it went away. So I don't know about this video, but I don't know what it's doing to me. <laughs> Um, let's keep watching and see what happens again. This thing is going off right now. Dennis! Dennis! That's loud, dude. I'm going up. Jordan and Johnny hear footsteps coming from right above them on the second floor. However, when they go up to investigate, there's no one there. But the two explorers do find the source of one sound they hear. And it is absolutely terrifying. All the, like, the people that are coming through this place. React. What's that? React. How's that? <gasps> I'm doing a reaction. What is that? Dude. Oh god. I wanted it to be a raccoon so badly. Hang on. Is that is it? Wow. And it just stops. The lock on the door is eerily shaking back and forth on its own. When the investigators get close to the door, the fast paced rattling mysteriously just stops. Jordan and Johnny decide to do a sensory deprivation session. Jordan covers back. his eyes and puts headphones in his ears so that the only thing he hears are the answers coming through their spirit box. Meanwhile, Johnny asks questions to the spirit of Dennis that might be haunting the abandoned train station. They get some strange answers. But then, something even more shocking happens. Oh. Here. Here. That was you, you're here? If you can make that noise again. I heard K too. 
If you can make that noise again, I'll check the key too. If you can make that noise again, let us know. In here. We'll come over there. Sweep. What? I keep expecting to see something sneak oh, around. Oh, oh, the shadow! Did you see it? Oh, wait. The bizarre silhouette of what looks like the upper half of a person can be seen slowly forming in the hallway. When Jordan shines his flashlight on the eerie figure, it disappears. Weird. Eventually, the guys decide to set up a Ouija board to communicate with the spirit. It did not go well. <laughs> My hands and knees are just shaking. Did you move? It looks like it, never it's expected crooked. It to go well. Really? No, it's still over right over T. It's right over T, but I thought it was straighter before. What was that? Oh. The light just died? Or light just died. Was that you, Dennis? The thing was fully charged. Might be using that energy. I thought I saw something on the stairs. Oh, dude. Yeah, 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 they grab their camera, leave the Ouija board, and just get out of there. So did the Paranormies capture supernatural evidence that proves that the Piney train station is haunted? Did they capture the ghost of Dennis's lingering soul on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? As always, you decide. Okay, so the silhouette of the man could totally be faked i'm not saying it's fake that's just looks it the crisp clear outline it looks like it could be superimposed seems like that would be easy to do but i'm convinced alone just by the key rattling in the door that was wild of course you could fake that too but i find this believable that seemed like a really scary encounter especially with everything crashing down at the end um the feeling in my back is gone so that's good Let's see the next one. Caught on camera. This next video was sent to me privately by Nuke's Top 5 viewer, Mary Therese Pagai from the Philippines. In her email, Mary says that she's a nursing student and that she was at home with her brother recording a demonstration video for her final exam. Then, this happened. One, three, go. One, okay now? Now that I have introduced myself to the patient, um, verify the client's now that I have introduced myself to the patient, explain the procedure and ask for his consent, verify the client's identity and provide Oh no, it's See, it's already signal, 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 Now that I have introduced myself to the patient uh, Now that I have introduced myself to the patient What <laughs> <laughs> The light flickers for a second and then just off screen, the closet door forcefully slams open on its own, scaring Mary and her brother so much that they run from the room. In a follow-up video, Mary shows the closet that burst open and the story gets truly bizarre. So this is where it's- I'm just gonna pause it. Alice and I have reacted to part of this that Nuke has featured on a previous video. So that might be why my reaction is not huge. I have seen this exact footage. Uh, prior to today, so let's keep going. Maybe there's something new It all began and this is the cabinet and I'm actually very afraid to touch it or open it I'm very sorry for the mess. So as you can see This cabinet is full of clothes and no person can actually oh my gosh fit inside here and This is where my brother stood and this is the light switch so my brother was uh, videotaping me, well, filming, filming here. I was standing here, and my brother was standing here. And the lights actually started to flicker before the cabinet opened. And actually before that, we were actually experiencing um, weird things. Oh my gosh, I'm very, I'm sorry, I'm very scared. You can tell she's but not this is feeling good about this. what it looks like inside. 
Tabi-tabi po. No person can actually fit inside here. It was actually me and my brother inside this room. And right now, I'm not sleeping inside this room. I'm sleeping in my parents' uh, room. Mary explains that she is now too scared to sleep in her own room. And maybe she should be. Because during the recording of her follow-up video, <gasps> a strange voice can be heard. And actually, before that, we were actually experiencing um, weird things. Now, Mary has a YouTube channel, but her videos are entirely dedicated to her nursing education. So right, that was right when she was like starting to get a little bit worked up and like scared. That's, and she didn't even hear it. That had some type of influence on her, I'm sure. It have nothing at all to do with the paranormal. Furthermore, Mary says that she's always been a skeptic, and before these videos, nothing paranormal had ever happened in her home. As for me, personally, I'd have to say that she genuinely looks terrified in this clip. Yes, but agreed. What do you think? So I pretty much said there what I wanted to say about her um, hearing that voice and the timing. So let's move right on to the next one. What remains? Urban explorer Christopher Hill from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill travels to the city of Warren, Ohio to explore the long abandoned St. Joseph Riverside Hospital. The sprawling medical facility was established in the 1960s. And as with any old hospital, thousands of patients passed away inside its walls. Many people believe that some of those patients never left. Because, you see, the St. Joseph Riverside Hospital is said to be extremely haunted. Chris enters the old decaying building, and as he explores the hospital's cluttered hallways and rotting rooms, he captures some very strange sounds. completely different floor, he hears something again. I thought I heard something. You thought? Now, I'm not sure exactly what these it's odd like sounds bear. could be. Obviously, it might be anything from animals inside the hospital to just some very odd building settling noises. Or possibly even something paranormal. But either way, Chris just shrugs it off and completes his exploration throughout the entire St. Joseph Hospital. But later on, after Chris uploads his video, observant YouTube viewers spot something that Chris didn't even notice. Something downright chilling. like other than actually ghost hunting that I've been experiencing some type of m mediumship while I'm filming so hi my name's Jenna and I'm a psychic with mediumship abilities let's keep going it's flooded did you see it it's very easy to miss but what appears to be a hand or arm can be seen quickly oh, disappearing gross. behind a door frame Chris has no idea what he has just captured and passes right by the door and continues on to explore uh, the flooded rooms down the hallway. So just what is this? 
Could it simply be a squatter who is living in the old deserted building? That's not a human Or could it be one of the spirits that roam the old hospital hallways? Oh, Let me know what you think. Can we all agree that that looks like what you would picture a demon hand to be? The long black fingers, like that wasn't a human hand. I don't know what that was. It was not a human hand. I know it's easy to see some type of animal thing, body part, and your brain doesn't go there immediately. Your brain always wants to look for humanoid type things. So it's alarming. And then if you realize, oh, it's just this animal, it makes more sense, uh, which could be the case, but that's freaky. And if I saw that in editing, that would be a big piece of evidence uh, for me. But I guess without knowing for sure if it was an animal, how could you know? I don't know. I didn't like that. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. Meanwhile, on TikTok. Yeah. TikTok user Dino Nugget 741 claims <laughs> that ever since he saw a quote voodoo lady in New Orleans seven years ago, that something followed him home and oh, that the no. entity has not left him alone ever since. He says that the mysterious spirit even follows him when he moves to a new house. He records his terrifying experiences and post them to TikTok. Ooh, One night, in an attempt to cleanse his brand new home in Colorado with Sage, the TikTok user captures something absolutely horrifying. I'm not afraid, man. As he opens the door to the basement, a dark figure can be seen standing at the bottom of the staircase, I didn't just see that kind originally. of staring up at him. When he turns on the light, the figure disappears out of sight. He checks out the basement, but there's no one there. Then strangely, he hears the voice of what sounds like a laughing woman from yeah. upstairs, I thought it was and the door one. slams shut. So is it real, or is this bizarre <sighs> haunting just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Obviously something like that would be easy to fake, but it's enough without being too much that this could totally be something paranormal going on in his home and i definitely thought that was his girlfriend or his wife or a friend or something laughing like that was a very clear like female laugh crazy let's go to the next one so i keep seeing comments saying that the original video is on nukes top fives uh if somebody has the link to that could you please send it to me because i i can't seem to find it TikTok user Dom Matigan says that his family home in Chicago was built in 1929 and that the original owner, a man named Richard Spencer, took his own life after he suffered financial ruin during the Great Depression. For years, Dom and his family have heard the strange sounds of footsteps, knocking, and even banging inside their home. The family believes that the ghost of Richard Spencer haunts the home. One night around 11 p.m., Dom is home alone when suddenly the angry ghost makes a terrifying return. Dom grabs his phone and starts to record. Okay, so I'm literally home alone. Listen to how loud and aggressive it is. I've seen this on TikTok. I actually saved it to show you guys in one of my TikTok videos, so I'll have to take that down now that we are watching it and I'm reacting to this. Um, so let's keep watching. <laughs> so I'm removing. Now, obviously Dom doesn't seem to be frightened at all by the incident, but Dom explained that he's heard the banging so many times now that it doesn't even really scare him anymore. Weeks later, it happens again and Dom is ready. Okay, so we're back in the house and every few seconds there's another Get the f out of here. Get the f out of here. He runs toward the door and opens it. But again, no one there. I'm so tempted. Intrigued TikTok viewers Look wonder what would happen if Dom started to knock back. Ooh. Another night, and Dom decides to test it out. 
Okay, so I'm just, I'm trying to get ready for bed. And there's another one. So right. Everyone's been asking me to try and knock back. <laughs> you Dom steps outside and knocks on the door himself, but the response actually comes from the closet door next to him. That's creepy. These days, Dom says that instead of being scared by the haunting, it has actually started to become a tiring nuisance. Mm -hmm. Dom is currently making plans to move to a new house. So is Dom's family home haunted by an angry ghost? You decide. That's really interesting. Um, obviously old homes like that, if you're in a room above, you can stomp and the whole door will shake. I've lived in a house like that. Um, or, you know, walking in another room and the whole door will rattle. It is a thing. I don't know if that's what's going on here or not. Very interesting that when he knocked, the closet knocked back. You decide. <laughs> so last week I featured the story of Maddie Bark, who believes that a dark entity followed her home after she went on a paranormal investigation at a cemetery. Oh no. Oh God. Maddie, oh my God. Maddie. Who is the f Oh my God. Did you I see have it? chills. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Maddie says that she often sees a creepy translucent figure on the property around her home, seemingly getting closer and closer to the house. Since the video, Whoa. Maddie went on a TikTok live stream ghost investigation in her own backyard oh. in an attempt to capture the bizarre figure again. Her live stream viewers are shocked when they see something that Maddie just can't see. So these are the trees that keeps getting foggy. And it's actually kind of clear. Well, obviously you can't see the sky, but it's like super clear. Oh, wait, was that a person? The same strange, pale, translucent apparition seems to appear right in front of Maddie. Chills. But what do you think? I don't know why. I, I, I've come to realize that some of the things I believe are real or fake on this, there's no rhyme or reason, like I'm following a rule book or anything. It's just the vibes I get when I'm watching the video, and I can't explain to you why this one in particular draws me as very real. Um, you could fake it. You could fake it, 100%, but I feel like this is real. I love the whole completely gray figure and that peeking in the window and then fading away. Whew. I mean, you saw me, you know how I feel. The Red House. Okay, last one. Paranormal investigator Kevin Barranco from the YouTube channel Archivo Extinto travels to Guadalajara, Mexico to explore the historic La Casa Colorada, which translates to the Red House. The house was built in 1923 and for years functioned as military barracks before becoming a hospital. The hospital was eventually closed down and the property was left empty and abandoned. Stories circulated that the remote and secluded location became a place where cults performed dark rituals. Curious visitors claimed to have seen witches, demons, and the skeletal female figure of Santa Muerte, a Mexican saint who is said to wear a long cloak and be the personification of death itself. Wow. Kevin is joined by his friends as they explore the creepy location, but the group begins to get a little nervous when they hear odd noises coming from all around them. No mames, escuchó un ruido de acá de este lado. ¿Dónde fue? ¿Dónde fue? Escuchó acá de este lado. Ay, cabrón, no mames. Tranquilos, tranquilos, tranquilos. Ay, me saqué. Tranquilos, tranquilos. The group finds strange symbols and words written on the walls inside the structure, both in Spanish and oddly in English too. And again, they hear something. Sí, esto es bastante interesante. Es una palabra en inglés que no voy a mencionar en estos momentos por cuestiones de protección hacia nosotros. Pero dentro de las palabras, de dentro de esta palabra, hay, hay un nombre muy... Acá se escucha. Sí, bien cabrón. Oye, oye, ¿lo escucharon? ¿Escuchaste? Bien, bien clarito, güey. 
No sé si la cámara lo captó. The camera seems to capture the sound of an unexplained deep breath coming from somewhere in the darkness. As they continue investigating the writing on the walls, they capture something downright chilling. What appears to be a cloaked figure can be seen walking inside the structure, but the Archivo Extinto team are completely unaware of what they have just captured. So could it be that Kevin and his team captured the apparition of Santa Muerte, the cloaked okay. lady of death? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Wow. So that was a pretty good catch. I don't know if I would have seen that at all. I barely saw it there. I don't know. I don't know about that one because it would be easy to say, oh, look, we caught this and you barely see it there, but they knew it was there because they set it up. I don't know. I don't know about that one. It's just my honest opinion. I mean, some of the other ones really had me believing, um, but I don't know about the last one. That is not discounting that. It could be very real. <laughs> it's just my take on it and just my opinion. And that is it for me today, guys. So if you enjoy us making these reaction videos, please make sure to give this video a like. And I know that a lot of you have requested that we react to other channels as well. Please, if you want us to react to another channel, please make sure to comment with the link to the video and timestamps because we can't watch a 30 minute video and react to the whole thing when there's only one piece of evidence in that video. That's why we like reacting to Nukestop Vibe and other compilation channels because it's five pieces of exciting evidence over and over and we don't have to sit and you watch us through this boring long reaction video. So that was a very long roundabout way of me saying if you want us to react to something, comment the link and the timestamp. Also make sure to go over to our Instagram page and follow us there as well. You can also follow Alice and myself on our personal Instagram pages. Everything will be linked in the description below. And that's it for me tonight, guys. So until next time, keep on creeping on. Bye.